are live and there'll be a whistle to end the drive. We're doing first drive is very close to where we are now, um, a few hundred yards away. Then we're going to be driving um, into a different valley uh, for the next two drives. There's one drive which we predominantly park through the rest of all predominantly seven. We're we'll numbering so. seven to moving up to. Boot it up. Boot it up. Okay. Okay. Daniels and Woods have supplied us with gun slip and gun bags. Yeah. Quality is absolutely phenomenal, isn't it? Superb. You can see from a distance, quality leather, um, a lovely sheen on it. Um, I know they're new, but you know the quality you can tell straight away just by looking at it. The, the, the finish um, is just superb. Finish superb. Um, Let's just look at some of the detail yeah. on it. I mean, we were talking about the pheasant. I mean, the detail on this pheasant through here yep. is just absolutely wonderful. It's, it's, it's just these small touches that they're doing. Um, this one I thought was rather nice. FRL <laughs> Media up on yeah. the top, yeah, and again cool. just corporate branding is what it's about isn't it, it is everyone's got a leather gun slip you go game shooting everyone's got the same old gun slip and yeah. putting little details like this on um, whether you're part of a syndicate part of a corporate group yeah um, it just adds that little extra touch to all the accessories you know you do have for shooting you can literally send them any picture any photograph or that whatever so you like true. and it can be ended up on, on on their leather goods for something you can treasure for a long time because yeah. these you know these slips will last many years yeah, yeah, um, yeah. and it's customized to you got a lovely selection of cartridges, Hull, a magnificent cartridge. Come on, what have you got in store for us today? Okay, right, I've gone straight out at the top. Dan has <laughs> given, has Dan's, Dan's probably given me the best invite you could ever receive, so I've gone all out. We've actually brought our signature cartridge, High Pheasant Extreme. It really is at the top of our range, and it's at the at the top of range capability. So uh, I've brought some High Pheasant Come Extreme, on, which I'll just show you. I have brought the 34 gram version in a four, which would work out to a UK shot size of three and a half. Oh, right, yeah. So that is for the really serious, serious high birds, which we're confident are going to be coming today. Yes. And you, you can hear the breeze in the trees, and it's sort of sending yeah, a little yeah. tingle down the back of your spine, <laughs> thinking of what's to come. I've also brought 32 gram payload cartridges, so some 32 gram oh, shells right. in four and five as well. We have a saying, and that is they give confidence in the field. Mm. And that's what it's all about. The, the real art of tackling high birds yeah. is having the confidence to simply look at the bird and read it and shoot it. Okay, 
Ben, a magnificent drive, everybody's still smiling. Um, some superb birds, and, and I have to say, fantastic topography. You must be very pleased with the way things have gone today. Absolutely, no, it's a very pretty drive. The birds flew excellently, and the guns are... Are up. we performing, sir? You certainly did, you stood up to the mark, <laughs> and actually, some extremely high birds shot today. In fact, I'd say the stronger teams we've seen all season. That so. was very kind, very gracious. Uh, Steve, you, you, were, you were supporting us from the rear, as it were. Um, that's some great birds there, wasn't Absolutely, it? you know, able to choose uh, very selective stuff coming through. I thought the team shot particularly well, and strangely enough, shot the, the more testing birds more than the you know Absolutely. lower to medium birds, as it were, which was nice to see. Yeah. Every time the gun went up, something dropped in front of me, but there was still plenty coming through the line to, to have a go at. It. So yes, kept kept nicely busy yeah. as a back gun, which was fantastic. Yeah, uh, and, and you and I the, on the previous drive were up in that sort of up in that valley, a little bit tight. Some wonderful birds came through. Over absolutely, the top of them, absolutely. Yeah, some really tough stuff, some extreme stuff, you know, and uh, push the ratios a little bit, but it's nice to see it coming through and continually coming through to give you that opportunity to get onto it, really. Yeah, Fabulous. Dan, just explain about Prescott and their shooting days. Um, basically, we, we sort of select our shooting days to give a mixture for sort of every different sort of client's taste, really. So we handpick some sort of days around the Cotswolds as we're a Cotswold-based sort of agency. Um, so you've got Cotswold style sort of pheasants on typical Cotswold yeah, sort of sure. countryside. Plus we then roam around the UK, we take a few days in Wales, or here, here in Tregoid today. The pheasants they produce here, obviously the topography um, lends itself to high challenging pheasants. Yeah. And as you've seen today, oh, um, they produce some absolutely fantastic pheasant shooting. And people, you know, they're looking for some challenging pheasant shooting out there that aren't ridiculously high, mm. but they certainly aren't low. Good sporting birds yeah. um, and you remember everyone you hit. David, David Stackley from Browning is going to uh, come in and join us. David, great, Hello. great to see you today. I mean, what, what a morning, isn't it? It's, oh. it's, it's been, it's been unbelievable. Great. That's the best high pheasant day I think I've ever had. It's uh, amazing. They just, you just can't believe the height until you actually hear and see yeah. it for yourself. But it's a challenging day, but I think, you know, if you've got the gun and pointed in the right direction, you'll bring them down. We've got a mixed, mixed sort of team here today. Some, you know, are high pheasant fanatics yes. that just love anything that's as far away as they can possibly what, get. As in maybe Phil. Yeah. And <laughs> Phil? It's, it's a pleasure to shoot alongside you and a lot of you people will uh, remember this gentleman. Good Dan. pheasants, lovely, lovely pheasants. It was some lovely pheasants. Well presented, really, really good fun. Hey, Rob, come and come join us. Come on. Uh, very kind, Rob's uh, supplying some cartridges today for yeah. us all to use and uh, magnificent drive there. Uh, absolutely superb. It's actually drives like that that's the reason we invented High Pheasant Extreme. Interestingly enough, there's a lot of talk about what makes a good shooting day, mm. and the birds are one of the factors. Yes. The hospitality is the major one, I think. Yeah, Dan sure, obviously right. has that with ease, yes. but uh, just just getting everybody together. Dan's definitely on my Christmas card list. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, and mine too. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, look, come on, in, guys. I know they're, they're pushing us behind. Let's go and uh, yep. let's go and enjoy ourselves. Great. Right. Thank, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you.